Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, I'm out here in the field, but this time I'm in Cornwall. It doesn't really look like Cornwall because I'm just in some random park thing uh, by the river. Uh, it's been hard to kind of find a spot here in Perrinpoth, but I found a decent public place here and I just found a blue damselfly. And as usual, I've come out about five o'clock in the morning. Oh, there's a beetle here as well. I just rested my background on a beetle. Uh, I'll try and get this damselfly first. It's on a stinging nettle, which is a bit annoying. On a piece of grass down there now. I'm shooting this at f4 because I want to get a nice blurry background here. That'll do for the downs of fly for now. Could always come back to it because it's only just resting there. Try and get that beetle. I can see him moving now. Pretty cool beetle. He's sort of in like a curled up position at the moment, so can't see his face. I just gave him a little nudge and now I can sort of see his face. I don't usually like photographing these, but I quite like that composition actually. So I've just found a massive bunch of caterpillars on this leaf here. This should be quite an easy shot. Never really seen this many caterpillars like this before. So I think the last video didn't go too well and didn't get that many photos so I think I will continue uh, this video right now in a different day. Uh, currently at uh, Hollywell Bay Beach in Cornwall and I come here every year and I get a lot of stuff in the sand dunes like rubber flies and beetles and all sorts really, bees. Um, it's pretty windy which is a bit of a problem. So I just found this um, like a dune rubber fly I think they're called get a lot of them in the dunes, hence the name. Why does it have to be on a spiky plant? This might work. Managed to get a shot. It's a bit difficult because it's this plant is spiky as hell. So I just found some sort of beetle. Looks like a sort of commonish one. I'm just gonna place my blue rag here. It's a bit windy so I'm my thing might blow away, my background. Hopefully the bug don't blow away, that's all I care about really. It's got some weird looking eyes, this beetle. Never really seen one of these. So I think I've just found a green eyed sort of bee chilling down here. I'm not sure what these bees are called, but I've seen a lot of them around Cornwall. I'm going to try the focus bracketing mode. Seems to be sort of locking onto a bit of grass, which looks pretty cool. Bracketing mode seems to be working fine. It wasn't working very well the other day when it was um, midday. So I just found a um, digger wasp, I think it's called. And these are always flying around like maniacs in the day. So it's interesting to find one still. I'm gonna try and use a blue background. That should do for the wasp. Right, so I just found what looks like one of those bees I found a minute ago, but like a miniature one. I'll see these a lot around here on the beach, but I don't see the the ones I saw a minute ago as much. But I thought I'd photograph this because I want to get... I haven't got it with a background yet. I'm going to go for pink, purple, whatever colour that is. Hopefully it don't move. I saw it moving about a little bit a second ago. It's a really tiny bee, this. And settings-wise, I'm using a 150 shutter f7.1, ISO 200 and 1 over 32 on the flash.
That should be pretty good. I want to try and get like a side on composition. It took a while for it to stop moving, but I've got it in the end. All right, so I just found this green beetle. I'm not actually sure what this is. I've only seen them down Cornwall. Every time I went for the photo, he seemed to move a leg or two. So I had to uh, keep restarting the stack there. While I'm here, there's a couple of caterpillars around here, I think. There's one at least. Got a cricket here. I'm surprised it's actually staying still. It just landed by me while I was getting that picture of that caterpillar. Oh, never mind. It's gone. So I just come a bit further up the sand dune and I found a um, it's one of those bees again, I think, with like the green sort of eyes. I'm photographing this one just because it's in a quite quite an easy spot and it's on a purple plant. You know, it's a bit different being on a purple plant compared to uh, in the sand like the last one. There's a cricket up there, see if I can get it. Quick little diversion, little cricket shot. Anyway, back to the back to the bee. It should be easy, there's not really any wind here. Okay, as I said, I just drink my, jinx myself. As I said that, a massive gust of wind came. Try the bracketing mode. Go to one to one. I'm actually shooting this in portrait. Kind of gives more interest in lighting rather than, because it's coming from the side. That bee stayed perfectly still, even when I was like moving the plant around. Well, so there's a load of these like weird wasps. I'm not sure what they're called, but every year I see them all over these um, purple spiky things. All right, so I just found a cinnabar moth on this spiky purple plant. I don't know what they're called. Um, Someone let me know in the comments if you know. I think this is, I think they they have two names, like a burnet moth or a cinnabar moth. I'm not sure which one's the one. And for my flash, I'm using um, one over 64 so I can bray away quite a lot of shots. Just found a pair of burnet moths mating or cinnabar moths. I need to find out which one is which because I'm going to keep saying cinnabar or burnet. I'm just going to hold the top of this. God, I told you it's windy. My camera just, that I'm filming with, just fell on the floor. That should be good for that shot. It took a while to get it going there, but I eventually got a good shot. Right, so here I've got some black and orange caterpillar. I'm not sure what caterpillar it is. I'm not very really familiar with caterpillar names, but they all seem to be twitching. I think it's like a defense mechanism. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a stack. I'll leave that one for now because it seems to be going underneath the leaf. But there is a couple more just here. So I saw a couple of these the other day, and I'm not sure what they are. They sort of look like beetle earwig looking things, very weird. They're sort of wedged in quite deep in here, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a nice photo. Yeah, if you know what that bug is there, let me know in the comments, because I have no idea. Well, I thought this weevil was dead, but it's actually alive. It's like eyes are moving a bit. It's antenna. It's either really tired or it's perhaps plain dead.
I should do for that bug. I'm not sure what that was actually. I think it was a some sort of shield bug, like a long one. I'm gonna call it there for today's video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff, you know. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.